Conservative creeps have long been obsessed with LGBTQ plus people, but over the course of the last year or so, they've inexplicably chosen to make drag queens the focal point of their moral panic, and their hysteria is reaching absurd new levels. For example, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis literally launched a probe into a Christmas drag show held in Fort Lauderdale and Miami. But it gets even better yet, because if you live in Texas, well... A conservative decided to create a hotline so you can report drag shows in the event they occur in your area. I'm not joking about this. So it's called Defend Our Kids Texas, which provides conservatives with a hotline to report drag shows in their area. Now, in response to this new hotline, Matt on Twitter pointed out that conservatives in Texas who want to protect kids should maybe look at the 10 churches that he decided to randomly name where pastors have been accused of child abuse. And these are recent cases. So I decided to just randomly choose three of those to investigate them. And Matt is absolutely correct. For example, Pastor Walther of Faith Baptist was arrested and charged with possession and distribution of child pornography. Not a peep from conservatives about this. Worship leader Jonathan Enzi, who's the son of the pastor of Living Way Church, was sentenced to prison for literally sexually assaulting a teenage girl that he knew since she was nine. He also sent her sexually explicit messages and requested explicit videos from her. Nothing from conservatives about this as well. Pastor Pounds of the First Assembly of God in Vernon, Texas, was charged with sexual assault of a child, with another victim coming forward in 2021. And yet conservatives haven't talked about that or any of the other pastors who have been convicted of child abuse at any of these churches. I mean, they are literally giving actual pedophiles a pass while just going after people who are innocent. I'm sure that the actual pedophiles thank them for their services here because they're absolutely running cover, wittingly or unwittingly, for actual child predators here. And it's genuinely disturbing. But the goal of Defend Our Kids Texas is to expose attacks on our children's innocence by uncovering and highlighting the left's public displays of sexual degeneracy. Now, the creator of this website is Sarah Gonzalez, who is a right-wing propagandist for The Blaze TV. And in an interview with Tucker Carlson, we got a couple of examples of what she described as sexual degeneracy, drag queens in the company of children now what you're going to see is phenomenal because she's really proud of this so much so that she pinned this video to her twitter profile but she thinks this actually proves her case when the opposite is true so take a look at some of the examples that they're highlighting as sexual degeneracy this is supposedly child abuse according to sarah take a look yeah i i think that there is a, a subsector of adults within these organizations that are not maybe don't agree with it but they don't have the courage to speak up they're scared of being canceled and my message to them is you have to be on the right side of history here because eventually we will win out and you don't want to be caught uh, on the wrong side or or you know excuse Using this behavior, it's absolutely inexcusable, and anyone who does not stand up and speak out about it is just as culpable, quite frankly, Republican or Democrat. But what I don't, I don't even understand. I mean, maybe I'm just dumb, but why would you want to get kids involved? And we had this pretty fair deal where people, you know, you go do your thing, I'll do my thing. I mean, that, that that's been the case in this country for the 50 years I've been here, and all of a sudden it's like, no, we have to get kids involved. What? I mean, why? Why would you want kids involved? Yeah, I mean, I believe, Tucker, that it's a more sinister uh, attempt by the left to, you know, they, they want this radical country. The only way that they can achieve that is through complete chaos and confusion. And what is the best way to confuse children? Confuse them about their sexuality, confuse them about their gender, expose them to things that their little brains are not ready for yet. That is how they are confusing children. It is leading to chaos. And big daddy government, of course, can be there to pick, a, pick us all up and take care of us at the end of it. Incredible. I love how we're supposed to take this person seriously as they claim that children are in danger when the evidence for said danger is a drag performer dressed as a unicorn fully clothed. I mean, if you're trying to prove our point for us, you're doing a great job. And furthermore, I just have to point out again, zero mention from Sarah during this interview of the threat posed by pastors to children here. It's almost like she's assisting the pedophiles, the actual pedophiles, as they prey on children, and she's trying to distract all of us and focus on drag queens. Yeah, while you're doing this, actual abuse is taking place, Sarah. So you're not a serious person, but she decided to create this hotline, and um, I think you all know what happened. 
it got trolled. And some of the responses shared underneath Matt's tweet about this were hilarious, but others were pretty poignant where people were serious and they talked about actual abuse that's happening. And spoiler alert, they're not going on at drag shows. Farts McGee reports your mom's house as the location of a drag show and adds, I'm having gay sex with your mom and she worships my strap. This person puts churches as the location and says, maybe look into your own churches instead of innocent people doing good. I have never once been harmed by the LGBTQ community. In the church, I was sexually assaulted multiple times. Emily posted the contents of an article about a pastor who was charged with child abuse as Ted Cruz, of course. This person writes, maybe put all this effort into something that actually fucking matters. Child hunger, school shootings, teen suicide, the list goes on and on and on. And you'd rather do this shit? Absolutely pathetic. This person adds, reevaluate your choices, please. We've got a pee pee poo poo and another pee pee poo poo. Somebody reported Trump for his association with Epstein because, I mean, you'd think that they'd care about that, but of course they don't. And there were more. But as for my submission, I, of course, decided to submit something on behalf of Matt Walsh. And I simply linked them to the article about the worship leader at Living Way Church in Conroe, Texas, who went to prison for literally grooming and sexually assaulting a minor. So there you have it. I'm not going to link you to this website because I don't want you to give them clicks. But if you are planning on trolling, don't do that. Trolling is very bad, and I never condone trolling. You all know me. But I will say that Sarah Gonzalez, if she's actually earnest in her concern about child abuse, maybe if you were to submit a link or two to actual abuse taking place in Texas, seems like it's occurring a lot at churches, you know, I would encourage her to maybe read that. If you want to send that to her, maybe you do, maybe you don't. But I mean, she's the one who tells us she's concerned about child abuse. So there's a lot of abuse happening, but it's just not taking place where she says it's taking place. And it seems like this isn't about child abuse to her. She's more concerned about hatred for LGBTQ plus people. But if she actually is serious about trying to curtail pedophilia or get these child predators away from children, well, there's an abundance of evidence that this is taking place in churches. And, uh, you know, I'm sure that she wouldn't mind if you submitted a report pointing this out to her.